editing video for you today. So you might be a bit confused and thinking to yourself, Hannah, why are you posting video on a Friday? You never post video on a Friday. I will tell you why. Today I am making soap, which is very exciting and it's a collab video. I've not done one of them in a while, so I thought it was time to get back on it. Before I explain any further, I'd like to apologize for any background noise you may hear. I need to film this today and there is scaffolding just outside my window and building work happening on my upstairs neighbor's balcony. So today I am going to show you how to make two ingredient tea soap. It's not the most visually appealing of soaps, but it smells really tasty. And if you've been on this channel at all, you will know that I love tea, so perfect. As I've already said, this is a collab, and as none of the lovely ladies live near me, it is a shout out collab. I'm collabing with the lovely So Craftastic and Macachino. They are also doing soap based things. Over on Macachino's channel, she is going to be making a watermelon soap, or showing you how to make a watermelon soap. And So Craftastic is going to show you how to make snow cone soap, or soap that looks like snow cones, which I think is really cool. Because I'd never done soap making before, I decided to keep it simple. And today I'm showing you how to make two ingredient tea soap. If you are new to soap making, this is the perfect soap for you to try out because like I said, you only need two ingredients. You don't need to buy loads of flavorings and colorings and molds and all of that stuff. I just used a little muffin tray, which still has the soap in it, but I just used a little uh, cupcake tray. So inexpensive and easy to do. Quick note before we get into the tutorial, don't forget to like this video if you enjoy it and don't forget to hit subscribe to see a new craft video from me every Sunday and then bonus videos in the week as well. And with all that being said, let's just get on with the tutorial, shall we? So to make this tea soap, all you need is a tea bag and some melt and pour soap and a mold. But that's literally it. Couldn't be easier and I'm not sponsored by Twinings, I just have an awful lot of tea. So I'm just going to cut some of the soap, which apparently is harder than I'm making it look, um, or it's harder than I thought it would be. It's not difficult to cut, it's just an awkward angle and I was scared that the table was wobbling and yeah. But yes, um, I didn't measure it, I cut it and then cut it into smaller chunks so it would melt a bit easier. Um, like I said, this is a perfect soap for beginners and because it's so easy to do. And there's another chunk of soap there. Da -da -da. And then I popped it all in a microwavable container. Uh, preferably don't have one that you cook food in or anything. Um, for hygiene reasons, obviously. And then you are going to take that over to the microwave and microwave it on a low heat in 30 second intervals stirring between each 30 seconds until it's completely melted. Make sure it's on a low heat. And then once it's all like that, you are going to rip open your tea bag and empty your tea into the soap base. Give it a stir. Don't stir too vigorously. That will cause bubbles. Stir gently. This is slightly sped up, which is why it looks more vigorous than it is. Then you want to grab your mold and pour the soap into the mold. Be aware that the tea will sink to the bottom or the top, depending, of your soap. And So Craftastic gave a tip of if you get any bubbles in your soap that you don't want, to spritz the top with rubbing alcohol. But for some reason, I couldn't find that here. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong place. But um, yes, so that would get rid of the bubbles if you'd give it a quick spritz that will pop all the bubbles. Then you want to either pop it in the fridge or leave it on the side until it's completely set and then you are ready to pop them out of the molds. I just like to kind of pull the edges away a little bit from the soap, makes it easier to remove, make sure that it all comes out in one piece and it's nice and easy and it's just like boop and there you have your soap ready to use and it's all very exciting. 
and you can use any flavour of tea that you like. This one is a Cherry Bakewell green tea, but I also made some prior to this that was using like a Glühwein tea, so it's like a berry tea, so this one's a bit more reddish toned, and it will darken up over time because of oxidisation, but it's still really cool. So yes, it truly is that simple. Making soap is so easy to do. Like I said, if you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. Your support truly means the world to me and why not hit subscribe? I usually post a new craft tutorial every single Sunday, but then I post bonus videos in the week as well. So you get three videos a week, usually. This week you're only getting two though. I just want to offer a huge thank you to the lovely ladies who are collabing with me. The links to all of their videos can be found in the description box below. So be sure you go and check them out and subscribe to them if you're not already. If you decide to recreate anything using one of my tutorials, I wanna see a picture of it, so feel free to post a picture on social media using the hashtag The Corner of Craft. That way I can check it out, see how amazingly talented you are. Links to all of my social media can be found in the description box as well. And yes, I think that's everything I have to say. Thank you so much once again for watching, and I shall see you very soon in my next video. Bye. Today I have a crochet tutorial for you. So today we are going to be making these really cute 3D butterflies. Flutter, 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 flutter.